guys and welcome to this pick a card tarot reading where we're going to look at your next serious relationship what the person's going to be like how you may meet them how you may know them um and personality and personality traits and physical appearances of this person um i'm thinking of this as a committed relationship so if you want to think of this as a like who will you marry type video you could do that um or if you just want to think of it as for anyone that is single what your next like long-term or committed relationship might look like you know look think of it however you would like to wherever you want however it resonates with you um really quickly i just want to say thank you um to everyone who's been liking commenting subscribing so the cards are pre-shuffled here and there's three piles so take a moment to ground yourself take a deep breath and think about the question um, or just to kind of focus on your next long-term relationship, your next committed relationship, kind of focus on that topic and then ask yourself, who is that person? Who is the person in that long-term committed relationship with you? And once you feel ready, go ahead and pause the video if you feel you need more time to reflect on the topic and think about the person. Choose um, a pile that your intuition is leading you to. This is pile one, pile two, and pile three. So again, think about um, the topic of your next long-term relationship and then let your intuition guide you to pile one, pile two, or pile three. I'll leave the timestamps in the description so you can go ahead and jump to the pile that you chose and I will see you there. Okay, hi pile one. I haven't looked at the cards yet so I'm excited to see what we have with you. We have the six of pentacles, the eight of cups, the Nine of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles. Also, my cat is sitting right here and is like playing with the screen and she keeps walking in front of the camera, so I hope she doesn't, but she loves like sitting here while I film, so just be on the lookout, I guess. <laughs> if you see a tail, you'll know what it is. Um, okay, so then we have the Six of Pentacles, again, under the Six of Pentacles. We have the Six of Cups. The two of swords in reverse. Oh my god, she's like watching the screen as I film. And strength in reverse. We also have self-doubt. We have rest. And we have freedom. And then we have all that glitters in reverse and exchanging gifts and look a little cat look pickle it's you okay pickles is my cat <laughs> okay so let's take a look and see what we have here okay a lot of sixes so i think this is someone from your past i really do with all of the sixes and also the six of cups in particular i think this is someone that you've known um this is a reunion that's probably been coming for like quite a while but sixes are all about um, harmony, restoring balance, um, and reunion. So I do think this is someone that you've known in the past. It could be someone that you have turned down in the past, or they've turned you down in the past with the Nine of Swords. Um, and they've been thinking a lot about that ever since. Um, let's see, be before we get too much into that situation, let's see if we can find anything out about this person. We have strength, so it's a Leo card. Um, could be fire. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles twice, and also the Eight of Pentacles. And Pentacles are Earth signs. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And there's also some sword energy, but I feel like this could reflect kind of where their mind is at, and less so their zodiac sign. But sword energy are air signs. And then there's also two cups here. Wow. Okay, so we have Pentacle, Pentacle, Cup, Cup sword sword so there's not really a clear zodiac sign coming through necessarily um we'll see as we keep going but i do think this is someone from your past with the six of cups i think it's someone that wants to come back and offer you something maybe something that they rejected in the past or again maybe you rejected them but they like they're dreaming about an offer to come through again they really want to offer you something with the six of pentacles twice this person could also be really generous and giving. I feel like this person 
is probably pretty established in their career because there's a lot of eights, a lot of nines, especially the eight of pentacles. I feel like this person um, definitely like has a career established and so they're willing to share that with other people. Same, along with all that glitters, I feel like they have an abundance of wealth or even if it's not like an abundance, like they, they're like they own a Tesla and they have like four homes or something, they still have like they, they do well for themselves and their career is successful like they're doing well essentially but i do feel like they kind of had to make a choice between work and relationships and so historically they've chosen work they've walked away from their feelings they've walked away from relationships they've turned down the cups they've turned down offerings feelings that other people have had for them and they've chosen to walk away and focus on work focus on building like the abundance that they've been working on also we have exchanging gifts so i do feel like this is a very generous person someone that wants that will give you a lot and someone that like genuinely enjoys giving things there's a lot of offerings here so i do think this person is quite well off and wants to share that with you they could also be kind of more like dominant or assertive because i feel like this is them both of these cards and they're like they're the ones that are giving they're the ones that are giving you know they're the ones that are initiating so they could be a little more conservative or not conservative but traditional i think is what i'm looking for they also um i do feel like they're kind of more of a mature person so they could be older than you or they could just like kind of have an established career they don't have to be old to have that you know they could just be more established than you in some area. You could meet them through work with all of the pentacles here, or you could have met them through work in the past, but I do think it's someone that you know, someone, and there was some kind of choice that was made, whether this person, like you work guys were together and they had to choose between you or work, and they ended up choosing work, leaving the relationship behind and um, focusing on their career. They like It causes them a lot of stress and anxiety, whatever choice they made however they left you behind like they think about it a lot they go like in circles in their mind and they just replay and they're like i wish i could have chosen something else i wish i didn't do that i think this is definitely the kind of person who thinks like um you know like they're like life isn't all about money like now they've in the past they may have thought that they may have been focused on all that glitters but since this is in reverse i feel like they're now like they're realizing that all that glitters isn't gold and wealth isn't actually what's important. It is the people and the memories that you have. And so they're kind of trying to make up for lost time, I guess, by coming back and offering you and wanting to share what they have built up with you so that they can build more memories with you. Let's take a look at these cards. So there could have been self-doubt at some point. Um, maybe you just felt like you weren't good enough because they chose work over you or... Maybe, again, it was you that made a decision to leave them behind, and th then they were like, am I not good enough? And that could be this, too, like, just thinking, like, w what wasn't enough for them? Um, but freedom from that is coming. Like, I think you guys have been resting. You probably have been in separation for a period of time, but that period of, of time apart has given you, like, a fresh perspective. It's given you freedom. Look, there's like so much happiness here. There's the heart, there's the rainbow, there's all the stars, there's a lot of positivity. So I feel like this period of separation has been for the best for both of you because it's helped to free you from that, that sense of self-doubt and also free this person from their obsession with work and their obsession with success and helps them to realize that work um, isn't like the end-all be-all, that relationships are important too and that's something that they want. This person definitely is a strong person, um, but they may be starting to feel burnt out or just unhappy with work, and they want to kind of take a step back from that and focus more on relationships. So I don't think this person would be too much of a workaholic in your relationship. Like, old habits do die hard, but I think this person is ready to move away from that kind of mentality and really give themselves over to a relationship and share all that that has to entail with you. Like, sure, the gift of life with you. How cringy, but true. I think they see you as very attractive as well. 
with all that glitters exchanging gifts this person could be sophisticated um there is, like i said there's not a lot of air energy here but they could be like a taurus maybe like they always dress well they have like the most expensive fabrics they just appreciate the finer things and you could be someone like that as well and they're, they're they want to give you those finer things and share in that together yeah this person has um i feel like is quite again quite mature quite responsible they've kind of got themselves figured out in a way it's like they've got their career figured out like you know they're they're not playing around like they're definitely looking for a committed serious and mature relationship um and again they could be a little bit more traditional or just a little bit more like assertive with they want to be the one to initiate things so be on the lookout for this person for sure because it looks like they're going to give you a lot of really exciting stuff let me see if there's any other messages here i don't think so i think that's what i have for pile number one so thank you so much for watching um i hope that was helpful in some way if any of it resonated please feel free to like comment or subscribe hi pile two let's take a look at your cards you have the four of cups the king of cups the magician the six of swords we have the hermit in reverse the two of wands the four of cups in reverse or the four of cups twice and the ten of cups in reverse okay we have boundaries we have light and we have healing and we also have no place like home and yang okay so the first thing i'm seeing is there are a lot of cups here the four of cups twice the king of cups and the ten of cups so your person could be a water sign pisces cancer scorpio we also have um yeah there's a majority cups but there is also virgo with the hermit two of wands is fire six of swords is air so all of the elements are represented but water is definitely the most prominent here um let's see so i feel like this person right now is not very happy i think that they are very guarded they could be a little bit young just because the four of cups to me is kind of like an angsty teenager and they have it twice where they're like oh like you know life isn't going my way and it's, it's never going to kind of a thing so they could kind of have that mentality right now with the hermit in reverse as well like the hermit being this mature card they're not like super mature so which makes you think that they're young they just haven't experienced like a ton yet or they could be older and just not super self like self-aware at this time um but with the four of cups and also the king of cups i think this person is guarded with the boundaries card as well like they've probably gone through something difficult um i think pretty recently and so they're they have these boundaries up like they're very guarded they don't want to let people in they've kind of gone into themselves in an unhealthy way where it's not just like you know taking solace and peace in one's own company but they've kind of isolated themselves from other people because of this difficult thing that they've gone through but with the six of swords they're going to end up coming out the other side the six of swords is all about moving on from stress from difficult situations so this person is going to be able to move on from that and leave this kind of angsty kind of bad energy behind but i think this person um is kind of like a like a those that kind of person that's like rough around the edges but on the inside they're a huge softy super sensitive very artistic creative and very nurturing but on the outside they seem like this person who's kind of got a guard up or someone who's kind of prickly almost um but on on the inside they're definitely not they're this they're very sensitive they have a ton of cups there's, there's a lot of water energy here they have a lot of emotions um but they could be someone who has like a little bit of a guard up with the two of wands they could travel or they could be from a different country 
Um, I think they feel stuck where they are right now. Like they feel stuck in this energy and they don't quite know how to move on from it. But with the magician and the six of swords, they're going to be able to, like, they're going to find their way. They just have to, um, like, be, like, allow themselves to move out of that energy. But we do have the four of cups again. So I think that it could, like, it's going to be a journey with this person towards actually getting to this ten of cups, emotional fulfillment and happiness, or the six of swords. But they, like, they definitely will. It could just take them a while to get there. They're in the process of healing right now. Um... But there is a strong light in them. There really is. So, and I think you're going to help bring that light out even more and help them bring bring them out of this Hermit energy and into this Ten of Cups, hopefully upright energy. What else about this person? I feel like they're probably a very strong protector. Like they, they are very loyal and care a lot about the ones that they love. And so in a relationship, this person will definitely take care of you, watch out for you, and will just take, like, n you know, no kind of, or, like, they would not tolerate anyone talking badly about you. They want to protect you with the arms out. Like, they want to just kind of hold you, protect you, and keep you safe. With the Ten of Cups, too, that speaks about family. So I think this person, maybe their, um, a lot of their difficulty comes from the family, and so being with you will kind of allow them to have like that um like that maybe that family they didn't have or um like a chosen family type situation and that will bring them a lot of happiness same with no place like home i think this person is really looking for their place in the world and their place with you their place in the world it seems like is with you like i think being with you will give them that emotional security and stability that they need to move on from these difficult situations in the past and to really let their guard down so i think you're you might be the first person to really get this person to open up and to start just to see things in a more positive way and you guys can really have like a really happy stable and like very, which is like very happy home life i'm seeing here once this person kind of opens up and i think you'll kind of have the key to do that so i don't think it's going to be difficult for you to get them to open up but they have to be at a place where they want to do that and right now they're kind of closed off but i do see that they're moving towards a situation with healing and being in a place where they can offer you their love being in a place where they can you know be healthy for you and be the one to reach out instead of always being closed off in themselves and see this, like the Hermit and the Two of Wands, like they're moving towards this Ten of Cups energy. Even the Four of Cups here is turned towards the Ten of Cups. So this person is definitely, like they're moving towards this Ten of Cups. They're moving towards the Six of Swords. They're moving in a very positive direction. And I think that you, like they could do the same for you, like help, you know, move you in that way. I do feel like this person is young as well. So they have a lot of life ahead of them. And... This is like what they're used to. This is what they're, you know, they're used to the four of cups, like things just not going their way and getting um, upset over like little things. But you'll help them see that even though four, three cups are turned down, one is still up, that there's always a chance for transformation. And with that, they can um, like really enjoy the rest of their life. Like I feel like you're going to be a very, very positive influence on this person's life. And in turn, they they like they can give you a lot as well, like in abundance. You guys are just gonna create magic together. I see. But this person just needs some time to heal. But I think you guys will mutually help each other heal. And help each other see the light, at the end of the tunnel, which, they'll offer to you. They will be your light at the end of the tunnel. Okay, I think that's what I have for pile number two. Thank you so much for watching. If any of that resonated, please feel free to like, comment, or subscribe. Um, but yeah, I wish you love, luck, abundance, prosperity, lots of healing for this pile. Um, thank you again for watching and have a great day. Hi, pile three. Let's take a look at your cards. I got so excited that I almost started like just doing them um, off camera because I really wanted to, I just have a good, I don't know, 
there's like a good energy with this pile so i'm excited to see what's in it so for you we have judgment the seven of pentacles sorry these cards might be blocking the way the three of swords and the moon We have death, the hero font, hero fan, hero font. I can never say that in reverse. The queen of wands in reverse, the empress in reverse. We also have begin, fire, and move on. And we also have not for you and round and round so taking a look at your cards here you have first and foremost you have a lot a lot of major arcana you have judgment death the moon and the empress also the hero font so um zodiac signs associated with those scorpio taurus cancer libra queen of wands is also leo so aries sagittarius um pentacles i think would be the only earth oh no taurus but also seven of pentacles would be earth so taurus capricorn or virgo there's not a lot of swords or um of air energy besides the empress libra um but there there is quite a bit of water with scorpio and cancer but we'll see um as we keep going on if, if there's zodiac signs that are coming up but there are a lot of major arcana so this is a very significant relationship for both of you I feel like you guys are really being called to it soon with the judgment card here like there's a little clock in the corner and the skeletons like being you know like z zooped up <laughs> by like a you like a this to me looks like a ufo or something like they're like they're calling them home into the unknown really with the seven of pentacles i think this is someone that you may not know i feel like you guys there is a relationship in your past or there's someone that you may be hung up on you kind of been like waiting around for them like are they gonna come are they gonna come um just hoping that they come i feel like this three of swords is related to that person so you've been in this mental maze of just heartbreak and sorrow thinking about this person a lot of the time and feeling like you're unable to get out of this mental maze around them um but i feel like this is saying that you know it's time to move on from whatever has been holding you back and it's time to begin something new and so i think this is a new relationship coming in soon we have death we have the hero font in reverse so i think this person definitely i feel like you guys have a situation you've been thinking about a lot someone that you've been thinking about a lot like this is the one this like this has to be it like waiting for them and you've turned into this skeleton while you've been waiting. So this is spirit saying, no, it's time to go. There's some, like, you know, it's time. We're kind of pulling on your arm. Like, it's time to go. Like, you know, change is coming. Move on. It's time for something new. With the seven of pentacles, like, it could be, it could feel like a risk. I think with the hero font in reverse, again, this is going to be unconventional and untraditional for you. The hero font is all about, like, what is conventional what is traditional like organized religion that kind of thing so this could be something that you're not used to at all um with death as well i think this is really coming in saying we're you know we're getting rid of these negative thought patterns you know spiral like feeling spot like you're just stuck thinking about this person in this situation but that one is not for you there's something even better coming, but you've been so stuck on that that you can't see all of the amazing opportunities that are around you. I love what comes after the Three of Swords here because we have the moon. So, um, oh, sorry, I'm just gonna, okay, sorry. <laughs> um, I just wanted to, to like adjust a little bit. So here we have the Three of Swords. So there's all like, just being stuck in this mental maze, like there's no way out. There's no way to get to an exit you're just stuck in this sorrow but here we have all of these doors just waiting to be opened so there's like this person's gonna open so many doors for you and help you just expand because i feel like you've really been focusing so much energy on this situation that you haven't been appreciating yourself and appreciating other opportunities and this person is going to be kind of a wake-up call 
and help you see yourself as the queen of wands and the empress like this person is going to just do like amazing things for like your self-esteem um, and really help you to get out i feel like you've been stuck in a negative cycle round and round of thinking about something that isn't for you and getting hung up on like why aren't they coming like why am i not enough why is this not enough why isn't this happening and i feel like you've kind of started to think that you aren't good enough because this person isn't coming and that's not at all the case and this person's going to help you break out of that round and round thinking and get into a place where you can realize your self-worth and realize how like beautiful and important and abundant you are with or without someone else but definitely not with that other person if that makes sense like you may not be good enough for that person it's not even that you're not good enough it's just that that's not the right fit for you you know um like there's there's even better things out there and it's not that you're not good enough because you are it's just that the universe has other plans for both of you the universe is calling you in a different direction but you are the queen of wands you are the empress the queen of wands is one of the most sensual beautiful passionate queens in the deck same with the empress and the empress embodies all of the positive qualities of all the queens like she is the ideal woman the quintessential woman whether you're um, a woman or a man watching this the empress just represents like the essence of beauty and because these are reversed i don't think you're allowing yourself to express that side of you right now because you're so focused on this person and hoping that they come to you but this other person that's coming in is going to open so many doors and help you turn these cards around so that you can unblock that energy and be the abundant, beautiful, prosperous person that you are and start to realize how worthy you are, again, with or without someone else. Like you, you're a queen, you're the empress on your own. You don't need anyone else, you know? And this new beginning is going to um, give you the ability to kind of step into your power and realize how important and beautiful you are. With the fire too, like it's going to be a very passionate relationship, super significant with judgment, death, the hero font, the moon, um, the empress. I don't think this person has any, like with the moon, I don't think there's any deceit or any ill intention. Um, I think it just could be like a like an intuitive calling to this person. You both will feel just like drawn, like literally the universe is pulling you towards them and you've been kind of resistant. You've been a little bit stubborn, but it's time to move on, get out of that cycle and allow yourself to be pulled where you're being pulled. I feel like you're already kind of feeling a pull towards this person. You're already being called in that direction, but you've been resisting, kind of holding on to this. But I don't know if you can see the clock on there it's almost the 11th hour like you're almost there so it's almost time's up like this is coming quick and I, again like i said i feel like a lot of you are already being called in that direction so you may already know like who this is or have an intuition about who this is and i think whoever you're thinking of or what whatever kind of first came to mind like that is correct that is who the universe wants you to move towards to have this new really passionate beginning and just feel like you have like a new handle on yourself like you're out of this stagnant energy feeling like you're not good enough and moving into this really powerful fertile creative prosperous abundant just like empress energy this person is going to be amazing for you like truly um let's see if there's any other messages here okay this like this is not really a message it's just something that i'm thinking of i don't know if anyone has watched the most recent season of the british love island but what this is making me think of is there's a contestant on it named amber who um coupled up so i should i even tell this like you have to explain <laughs> basically on the show like you have to be in a couple to stay on the show and then they try to like break up the couples or test them to see who can like withstand the, the test of time and then the public votes for their favorite couple and so there were two contestants at the beginning amber and michael and amber was someone who had difficulty opening up um michael pursued her she was like no i'm not really into it and then she eventually gave in they coupled up she really opened up and really liked him and then he ended up choosing someone else over her and would like publicly humiliating her on national TV. And she had been super confident and really sure of herself. And 
just very like self-assured very like you know she knew her worth but when that happened she kind of went into herself and started questioning herself and I feel like she it felt like she wasn't good enough and then someone else came on like literally in the 11th hour like a week before the show ended um who was just like this knight in shining armor he was so sweet he was so handsome like way more handsome than the first guy and was like he just treated her like an absolute queen he was so nice he was so supportive like there was he was just like literally like the best person ever and they won the show over people who had been on for two months this guy that came in for a week because their relationship was so positive and he inspired such a positive change in her and helping her get over this relationship that she had been clinging to unhealthily like it just like brought her right out of it and she immediately moved into this like amazing energy and she literally won the show so basically what I'm trying to say is that I feel like for this pile, that's kind of what's happening to you. Like you've had the situation where you've been treated unfairly, you've been waiting around for someone, you're starting to, to take that out on yourself and be like, why am I not good enough when it's only on them? Like, you know, there's it's nothing about you why they're not coming towards you. It's fully on them. That's That only speaks about them. But someone is coming, something that you're not u- like used to. That was another thing on the show is that, like, the guy that came in was, like, very different from her usual type, but he ended up being, like, the, like, the ideal, like, Prince Charming. So I think someone's coming who's not your usual, your typical situation. You're already being called in that direction. You already have an intuition on where you need to go to get over this heartbreak. But they're going to literally be, like, your knight in shining armor, like the Hierophant, Hierophant, however you say it, is the marriage card, the empress card, fertility, you guys could really have a family together, like I, like this is a really, really, really beautiful pile, and I feel like this is a really important message for some people, so I hope that it was, oh my cat agrees, she's up here, yeah, there's a lot of passion here, a lot of excitement, this is happening quickly, you guys, you're already being pulled in that direction, it's almost the 11th hour, this person is almost there, So make sure that you're open to them, that you're paying attention, that you're not, you know, feeling like you're not getting too stuck on the past. Sorry, my cat is like headbutting the camera. She loves to do that like a little shark. I don't know why she does that. But yeah, like get ready for something amazing because something really, really, really positive is coming that's going to help bring you out of this negative energy. So I want to like, oh my gosh, pickles, you need to stop it, please. Ugh sorry (laughs) um i'm not that annoyed at her she's so cute but basically i was just gonna say that i want to keep talking about this pile because it's so amazing and it's just making me happy to even think about it but i feel like that's all the messages that i have for you guys um so thank you so much for letting me share that with you that was like i really enjoyed doing that so thank you um if any of that resonated please feel free to like comment or subscribe um so once again thank you and have a great day